Hello everyone, so today we're going to learn how to apply the future value formula on Excel. So if you have Excel 2016 or 2013, um, it should be okay. Uh, I'm using the Excel online version, but the formula is the same for any type of future value calculation. Uh, so let's get right to it. Here we have number of periods. We have 30 years interest rate we put we put it at six percent and then we have present value of ten thousand we're gonna go ahead and apply zero dollars of payment and we're trying to calculate for future value which is here so the formula you want to use is equals FV for future value Go ahead and double click. So it's asking you to enter in the rate. So we're gonna go go and click on the interest rate, which is 6%, comma, number of periods, comma. Now we have zero payments in this case, so we're gonna go ahead and click that, comma. Now be careful when you enter present value because it's 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 cash flow that went out it has to be entered in as negative otherwise you're going to get a negative future value so just make sure that if you're trying to calculate for the future value your present value will have to be inputted as negative so let's go ahead and click negative and then we'll go ahead and click on present value um, so in this case there was only one compounding period per year um, but if there was, let's say, if there was, let's say it was a quarterly compounded um, compounded period, then we would go ahead and apply that to all the calculations. So if it's count compounded by four, then you would have to apply it to the interest rate, present value, and number of periods. But we won't be doing that in this case. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click tab. And there you have it. So the future value of $10,000 invested at 6% for 30 years, assuming that it's compounded each year, would give you a future value of $57,434.91. And then at the top is your formula there. All right, so hope that was helpful. Have a great day.